another lockdown. Another time where we now have to retreat back into our homes and stay inside in order to be safe. But this whole concept of being under lockdown reminds me of the question of being under siege, which is slightly different. And to a large extent, Corona tends to have us under siege. As we look back in the annals of history, we come across an account in scripture between 700 and 681 BC. And it's really about a king, King Hezekiah, and an Assyrian king, Sennacherib. And Sennacherib has Hezekiah under siege. Hezekiah responds in a way and he comes up with a seven step plan in order to survive the siege that Sennacherib puts him under. But well, you may say to yourself, what's a siege? I don't even know what that is. Well, a siege is where you are surrounded, where you're being attacked and you feel as though you're being forced into a corner or forced inside without any ability to resist that push. It's usually a prolonged effort to overcome any resistance. The idea of a siege is so that you're isolated, you're cut off from your help and your supplies and therefore you're all alone and you have no choice but to surrender. We may not feel as though Corona has us under siege, but certainly some of us experience this in our lives in our emotional lives. Sometimes our marital relationships have us under siege. Sometimes our relationship with our employers have us under siege. There's so many things that can happen that can cause us to be under siege, but we can survive the siege. We have no need to be afraid. So there are a couple of things that we can learn and, and we first have to accept before we step into the plan that we have to survive. And the first one I want you to recognize is, yes, good things, good people experience bad things. It happens. Sometimes you're a fantastic person. You do all the right things. You say all the right things. You're everything. But something bad happens. That happens to all of us. And it happened to Hezekiah. He was a good king. He was faithful in what he had to do. But something went wrong. And that happens to us as well. Have no fear. It doesn't mean that you are not an overcomer. It just means you have to know how to survive the siege. And then the other thing I want to share with you in this segment is really there are three things, strategies that can put us under siege. The first one is questioning. My goodness, we can have people in our lives who just love to ask questions. And these are not questions to draw the best in us. These are questions that cause us to doubt ourselves, to doubt our purpose, to doubt our destiny, to doubt what God has given to us. They just question us and question us and question us. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? They do all of those things and it causes us to draw back into a hole and behave as though we are under siege. Eve experienced it. Remember, Satan asked her some questions and caused her to feel that way. The second thing that happens is that there are personal attacks. People know how to ask you something and to question your integrity. Sometimes they drop remarks and those remarks, we feel as though there's a personal attack on our character, on who we say we are. That's one of the things that they do. And the third thing that they seek to put into place is that sometimes they will target your support. People who you had with you, walking alongside of you, holding your hand in difficult times, all of a sudden, those people begin to question even you. That's how sieges come on. And with that personal attack, with those questions and with that lack of support, we can begin to cower in the background. We can begin to feel the weight of the siege on our lives, but we can survive it. And there are seven steps that we can follow to survive it. So what I want you to do is to stay tuned because I am going to be sharing that seven step process to help us to survive the siege. But for today, what I want you to say to yourself is, I am a survivor. I will survive the sieges in my life because I know who is with me. So have a great day and God bless you as you survive your siege.